Today finds us back at Seven Ponds in Charles County, what's quickly become a favorite fishing spot for me. Thank goodness for quality gear like that Yak Attack Boom Pole. Extending my GoPro out for this angle puts it in the danger zone quite a bit. So I wanted to explore the second pond back that has a lot of spatter dock or what's also known as cow lily. These pads are big and provide awesome cover for game fish, which in this pond includes largemouth and snakehead. I tossed two different baits today and all my fish were caught on the second. The first was a Texas rigged weightless Senko rigged with a 4 aught wide gap hook. The second bait that produced today was the Whopper Plopper in bone and shad patterns, both. I was able to move what I think was a fairly large snakehead with the Senko, and then I threw back with the Plopper. Now some fish aren't too smart I guess. This fish came up back at the Plopper, but he totally missed the bait and struck what looked like 6 inches or so behind it. Now these ponds are full of all types of wildlife, including beaver. Now this one was chilling, eating some spatter dock stalks when I slid by and I guess he decided I was deserving of the tail slap. The first hookup of the day was on the bone whopper plopper. Now this bass was sitting in about two feet of water, thick with submerged weed, hydrilla actually. took this little fish for a jet ski ride. <laughs> Fishing baits with super sharp treble hooks is always risky business. I've learned that lesson the hard way and use caution and pliers. Pretty fish. Second fish for the day was on the same bait in the same area, but up next to a lay down. And it was about the same size. It was almost like a carbon copy of the first fish. Now the third fish was the big bass for the day and he's caught on the shad plopper. He was sitting in a little cut thick with weed that leads to the back part of the pond away from the spatter dock. This fish took quite the run. He tried to move into that spatter dock up underneath the boat. This is an absolutely gorgeous fish with a well-pronounced lateral line. Anybody else ever throw a bait like six inches too far only to find out it probably cost you a quality fish? Yep, six inches too far and this plopper stuck his hook right into a pad stalk and two tugs and what looked like a dragon snakehead spooked and came out of the water. 
Man, that looked like a big fish. Whew. Next time, Big Mama. I think that may have been the first fish from earlier in the day that spooked it and came up short. Now I got tight with this next snakehead. And this is another really, really pretty fish of about 18 inches or so, I would guess. I wasn't thinking today about keeping fish, so I ended up releasing it find its way onto somebody else's table. This is a perfect eating size snakehead though, in my opinion. All in all, this was a pretty good day exploring some water. I had only fished one other time. And now I can tell you for certain that there is a dragon of a snakehead hanging out in that spatter dock. And I'm pretty sure I had two shots at it today. Isn't that a gorgeous snakehead? They're growing on me. And then the snakehead freak out flop back into the water. <laughs> And he even tried to take the paddle with him. If this is your first time here, it'd mean a lot if you'd consider clicking that subscribe button, tapping the bell icon to get notified when we drop a new video. Until next time, y'all, tight lines and go get bent.